So about a year ago, I was on top of the world. I was uh, killing it like I've never seen anybody kill it. I was making over $15,000 a month, working 10 hours, 20 hours a week, just doing what I fucking love. And I was also diagnosed at age 16 with uh, bipolar, which means, you know, extremes up, extreme ups and downs. Like for a period you might feel like Superman, and then for a period you want to kill yourself or something. And I left that untreated. And so the resulting combination was that I, I felt invincible. I felt like nothing bad could happen to me. And I started taking really, really big risks. Uh, the first risk I took, like really major, I took many risks, but the first major one was committing over $40,000 just to uh, do a huge lecture, an 800 people lecture in just two weeks without anybody uh, in, in the country I was in knowing me and I actually pulled it off the massive massive risk but I managed to do it and that was cool and almost uh, 200,000 people saw me uh, because of that promotion but then I got hungrier and I wanted more so this time uh, what I did was uh, I lived in a big villa I rented a 15,000 a month villa and uh, like huge villa with with a pool and all that crazy shit and got myself 10 employees like bam like from one employee on average to 10 and decided to pay each of them about 3,000 a month uh, right off the bat so you know that that was another massive risk and uh, the second one didn't work out too much too much too little time um, and so the failure was unbelievably hard the failure was immense it was uh, I, I've, ex I've never experienced anything like this to this degree so when I talk to people about failure and people are like yeah you know I, I failed in the past I know what it, it's like to fail it's like no you haven't <laughs> You know what it's like to try something and it doesn't work out. You know what it's like to try something and give up. Or you might even know how, what it is to try something, lose a bit of money, and go like, oh well, you know, you know that sucked, but whatever. Maybe feel bad for a couple of days, but you don't know failure like I fit, <laughs> knew failure. And uh, what I want to get to in this video is the idea that only once you've like failed massively like had like a massive catastrophic failure only then uh, do you actually have a shot a real shot at becoming uh, successful and actually accomplishing your dreams not just you know uh, play pretend going for it and the reason for that is because you if you read a lot of success books and you know, listen to motivational talks and all that crap. Um, you kind of get this entitlement feeling like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm deserving of success. I, I'm supposed to be successful. It's, it's part of my journey. It's part of my destiny to be successful. And that's where the problem begins. It's in, in, in that knowing feeling like, yeah, you could have a day where you're like lazy and you don't do anything and you're like yeah that's just part of my journey and I like to say that the journey really begins like the real journey uh, because until that it's just a potential but the real journey actually begins only once you actually doubt yourself to the degree that you're like am I supposed to be successful you know you might even believe that for years and then you're like am I really supposed to be what I think I would be and um, yeah, during that period, I, I thought I was—I was really s seriously thought that maybe my destiny is just to be like a homeless guy, or to to kill myself, something like that, because it was so bad, so bad, impossibly bad, and uh, I truly didn't see any way out of it. This wasn't like a failure where I lost a bit. It was, I lost everything and then five times more, <laughs> uh, plus many other things. So 
once I came out of that, and again, I wasn't supposed to come out of that. And by the way, second by the way, if you look at all the really, really successful people, like the, the top people in the world, the most high, um, highly uh, uh, respected people in the world, they all suffered at least one just catastrophic failure in their life. And that's no coincidence. So once I experienced this ca catastrophic failure, um, like I said, I, everything I believed was shaken. I wasn't sure of anything anymore. I didn't know what to believe. It was pretty bad. But um, eventually, uh, you get all these childish beliefs stripped away. So you no longer believe that you're entitled to success. You no longer believe that you deserve success. And your paradigm changes because you realize that you don't really deserve anything. And you, you know, as Grant Cardone says, uh, you eat what you kill. <laughs> so I, I then realized that whatever I want in life, my goals, I'm not entitled to them. Nothing is promised, nothing is, nothing is guaranteed. And only if I really, really work hard and smart, and also if I'm lucky, uh, because luck has something to do with it, then I might be able, might be able to achieve my goals. And that may sound like, oh, that's very um, discouraging. But to be honest, I never worked as hard or as diligently as I am after, uh, you know, since I had this realization. Because what happens when you believe that you're entitled to success is you get lazy. It's like people who are successful, they get lazy because they think they're entitled. Same with people who think they deserve a future success, they get lazy. So on the weekend, on Friday, you know, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm tired, so I'm not going to work today. And then you rationalize it because you're like, oh, okay, but I deserve success. So, you know, it's all part of my journey. It's part of the journey. It's a lesson, whatever, whatever. And for me, it's like, okay, I'm tired. Well, <laughs> my goals aren't going to happen by themselves. So I better get working. And it's not like, oh, I had this, I had this. No, it's just like, oh, yeah, take responsibility. So you just learn to take a higher uh, degree of responsibility. Now, regarding the actual, like, really in-depth story of what happened, I talk about it extremely in-depth in my book, including how it happened, why it happened, what happened before, what happened after, what I was thinking, the technical parts of it, what was good, what's the lessons, what are the lessons. Um, so, yeah, uh, you'll be able to learn more about it there in-depth. And, uh, yeah, the lesson to you is, is pretty simple. It's... If you think you're entitled to success, if you still think you're entitled to success, you're going to be very much either disappointed or you never, you know, hopefully you'll be disappointed because that means at least you try. But most likely you'll be like the 98% of the people in self-development who just, you know, masturbate all day and don't actually do shit. You know, just do the small shit, but they never fully commit to anything. They never take on a huge project that risks everything. So they never actually get the benefits, you know, they just like, oh yeah, I'm in self-development. Like who gives a fucking crap, dude? So um, that actually makes it worse. Like I'd rather you weren't because at least that would justify you being a lazy bitch. But, you know, so I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so so you you learn that either by assuming responsibility from the start, realizing you're not entitled, which you can do now. Or you learn it the hard way, because I'm a kind of, the kind of guy that tends to learn shit the hard way. I just overcommit to everything, and then you know when I fuck up, it's like it's so bad, it's so painful that I'll never do that again. That's how I learn, at least. So, um, so you learn either through being smart or through making dumb mistakes, like massive mistakes that will destroy your life. To be honest temporarily hopefully uh, you learn that uh, you're not entitled and once you learn that now you actually have the opportunity to be successful the potential before you realize that the fact that you're not entitled which takes at least one like major catastrophe usually 
you're not even in the ballpark because you're still like a child you're still like a kid like oh yeah i'm gonna be an astronaut one day i know i know and you still haven't really learned that it's a fierce fierce world and that you shouldn't live in fantasy land uh you should live in the real world where you where the can that can happen uh but it's going to be very very hard and require also a bit of luck uh, so I hope this video helps you a lot. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now, please. I would th I would thank you very much. Uh, and uh, other than that, you know, I coach. That's what I love most in the whole world. I would die to coach. Uh, I would do it for free. I mean, if I could be a multimillionaire while coaching, I would, I would do it for free, for sure. Um, so yeah, if you have any problems, feel free to contact me. Um, some people say I charge a lot, some people say I don't charge enough, uh, but um, I offer free first session, so contact me, thank you.